Welcome back everyone, my name is Avin Reddy and in this video we will talk about proof of work POW. If you remember in the last video we have talked about consensus or and, and why do we need consensus in blockchain. Now when it comes to proof of work, it's a consensus algorithm just like POS and then we have POC as well. This is one of them. But this is famous because of one thing, Bitcoin. Now, first of all, why do we need a POW? Now, think about this. When you have a blockchain, and of course, in this blockchain network, you'll be having multiple nodes, and all this node will be having the same state of a blockchain. But now, let's say you have a new block. Now, who is responsible to add this new block in a blockchain? First of all, we have to verify all the transaction, which is quite easy, but who will add this block in a blockchain? It's important for us that that node should not be a malicious node because it can manipulate data. We don't want that. Every node who is competing to add that block in a blockchain has to do some computing work. Now, what kind of computing work? So this is normally we say they will be given a mathematical calculation and whoever solves that calculation will win right, so when you when you say they will win they can add the block in a blockchain and they will receive some coins or some rewards now in Bitcoin network they will receive bitcoins in some other network they will have their own rules but the important thing is they will win and they will add this block in a blockchain but then why do we need it is because if you are spending huge amount of computing power so this chances goes down that you will be a malicious software or you will be a malicious node the second thing is let's say in a blockchain if you have 30 blocks and if you want to change 25th block it will affect the hash of all the remaining blocks right so i can recalculate right i can recalculate the hash of all the blocks it is easy right actually no because every time you make a change every time you add a block in a blockchain you have to do pow which will take some amount of time some amount of computing power if you are that rich and if you have so much of time you can do that but hold on the moment you are doing that some other nodes or some other block will be generated which will be added in a blockchain so it makes your attack useless but we have one question here what is that mathematical calculation so of course every node in a blockchain or every miner who want to compete will be solving that mathematical problem. So from video one to this video, we have the same question. What is that mathematical problem? Now, first of all, the complexity of that puzzle depend upon the network, the size of the network, how many users are active and what's the blockchain size and all the other factors. Now, this can be easy example. Let's say if I give you a number, let's say 525, you have to find the factors of that number. Maybe I will give you some extra logic as well. You know, these two numbers should have a difference of maybe at least 50, something like that. Okay. Now you will be spending your computing power to calculate that. Now this is easy, it can be done in seconds. But let's say if I make it difficult, if I talk about hash functions. So just to recap about hash, uh, if you give an uh, input to hash function, it can be any length uh, input, it will give you fixed size length. And the amazing part is if I give you Naveen, uh, it will give you a unique hash. But if I change something from Naveen, if I change that capital A to small a, it will give you a very different hash value. So you can't even guess, okay? Uh, so you have to generate. So if I give you, in fact, if I give you the output of a hash and you have to guess the input, and that's where you will be doing a lot of calculations, right? Maybe I will say there's a five digit number and you have to find the input for this particular output. Or maybe if I give you, there's a name of 10 letters from the dictionary, you have to find it, so something like that. So they have to do this computational power by Bruce Fort. You can't apply logic here. It's all Bruce Force, right? So if you have huge computing power, you can do it easily. But if you don't have that, you may lose. And that's the mathematical equation which they do. Uh, so do we have any drawbacks of this? Yes, we have drawbacks. Uh, don't you think we are wasting so much of energy here? We are doing so much of computation which is useless. So that's one problem. Second one is the 51% attack. So what if uh, I have a network of 10 nodes? So let's say there's a blockchain network of 10 nodes. And out of those 10 nodes, 6 nodes are malicious. In this case, you have more than 51% of the network in your hand. So of course, this can be hacked. That can, you can hack the blockchain network now. So that's two issues we have, but then that can be solved with some advanced things. That's POW, which is proof of work for you. So I hope you are enjoying the blockchain series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye.